Hello everyone, it's Physical Lapse, and I'm back yet again playing Direwolf 20. And in between episodes, I did a fair amount, so let's take a look and uh, get right to it. Uh, first off, I have... Well, I'm living... I guess it's first off, I'm living on the water. I have a base on the water now. This is going to be where I'm going to build. Because, well, I couldn't find any place on land that I liked, so... Yeah, we're building on the water. There's actually a starlight field right here. Right, right, right on that altar. You can't see it right now. Well, it's nighttime. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be where the base is going to be. And, uh, that is definitely a thing. Uh, outside of that, I made a couple more machines here. I have, what did I make? I made the induction smelter because I needed to make hardened glass so I could make the upgrades for the, it was the reinforced upgrades. Let's go to, uh, kit. These ones here, yeah, you need, uh, any block hardened glass. There you go. So I had to do that. And I also had to make, uh, fluid transposer. There we go. And I just broke it. Anyway, let's fix that. Bam. And that's why you don't just hold a wrench randomly. And, uh, yeah, I did that stuff. I upgraded my machines. Well, there are almost, not all of them, I guess. A bunch of them are up to, uh, reinforced. We'll get the rest of them done in time. So, that is the thing. Um, outside of that, not really much else I did. I mostly spent most of my time trying to find this location. Just to have a spot. Uh, what we're going to get to today, though, is probably a new setup for the power. It's not going to be an actual new setup. We're going to do something with it. Same as we're going to build a mob farm. So the mo um, mod that I want to use today is going to be, it is uh, compact machines. I'm going to use this one. Uh, I already have some of these compact machine walls. We should have, yeah, I got a decent amount here. Uh, you can find these in world gen. You'll find structures in the world that just, they just look like cubes. They have a little bit of lava coming out of them. And uh, you just farm them up. Then you don't have to, you know, spend as much iron making them. Um, you make these, these blocks here, these tiny, well, there's a whole bunch here, comeback machine blocks. They're basically portals. We'll treat them as portals, uh, but they create rooms in another dimension of varying sizes, depending on what they're made of. Um, those machines are, sorry, those portals are, or in the other dimension, they stay chunk loaded. And uh, yeah, it's just a way to kind of say, I could take this entire power setup. I could throw it in another dimension. Um, and then pipe the power out directly from the block because we get a placeable block that we put in the world uh, using these tunnels. So you can basically take your machine setup, throw them into small little blocks <laughs> that become single blocks in this regular world, and then, yeah, just pipe things in and out of them as needed. So I want to try it out, see how it works, and uh, I think it's going to be pretty fun. So we're going to get right to that and uh, do some stuff here. So the first thing we're going to need here is a personal shrinking device, so we're going to make one of them. This is the main tool from the mod, and it's also the uh, book. There isn't much to the book, though. There isn't a lot to read. So um, the difference between these blocks, too, as well, like this one here, the tiny is a 3x3x3 three by three by three room. Uh, this is 5x5, 7x7, 9x9, 11x11, 13x13. So they just get bigger and bigger. Uh, we're going to need a redstone torch. And uh, I'm actually going to have to make some blaze powder because I don't have any. But uh, that's easy enough. I'll just make like 10. Let's do that. Grab some glow, glowstone, probably like 10 of that as well. There we go. I meant two to stabilize redstone. Anyway, I'm going to throw that through the magnet crucible. You can just get that stuff mining. Just have to have silk touch. Not a big deal. I'm going to throw that in there with the glowstone. It'll get infused with stabilized redstone. It takes 200 million buckets. It'll give us blaze powder. So that'll handle that. What else do we need here? I think I got most of the other stuff I need. I think so. So let's grab that. Let's come over here. And uh, we're going to need some of these. These are the miniaturization field projectors. They're actually used to make the blocks that we need. Oh, I need to make an eye vendor first. Let's do that. And bam. So we're going to set this up. Not hard to set up. These things do not take power. Nothing like that. Um, the first one we're going to set up, I think, is going to be this one here. The large. Let's do a large first. And then I'm going to probably do a normal as well. So, I mean, depending on the, what you're setting up, you only need rooms a certain size, right? So... No point wasting materials, I guess. Let's do that. Uh, we need to build a structure in the world first. So this one's going to be a 5x5 five five. Uh, cube. There we go. Some of them need other things in the center, but this one in particular just needs the machine walls. So not that big a deal at all. But we'll get it built. It seems like a fun mod, and uh, I think I'm going to be using a lot in the pack. <laughs> I really like the idea of being able to take my uh, builds throw them in a block and kind of keep them separate keep everything clean and all that jazz so we're gonna do that so 
So that's a three by three inch terrier. So that's what we want. We'll just get this finished off. And see about getting this crafted. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. Let's uh, take some damage and set up these projectors. So the projectors, I think, have to go four out. I think it's this far. We'll see here. But uh, we can see here in a second. You can put them up. You can right click on them. I think get arrows that tell you kind of where to put the next one. There you go. So we're going to do that. Boom. And throw another one here. Boom. There we go. And it's just going to keep telling me. So you can just right click. This makes your life a little easier. And you can build them differing sizes, I think. So the, the projectors can go further out depending on which cube you're building and stuff. But I think this one's going to handle bulk of it. So... Yeah, it looks like a three out for this one anyway. Or four out, I guess. Three out in the actual block. Do that. And there we go. If you built it correctly, and uh, you got a multi-block there, it's going to start doing the scan thing. And uh, it's good to go. Um, we actually need an ender pearl. I forgot that. Let's grab that. That is used as the catalyst to actually start the crafting. Doom. Let's go to ender. Boom. Don't have a lot of those left. That's part of the reason I want to build a mob farm. Just throw the ender pearl on it, and bam, it starts crafting it. It does a little thing where it kind of shrinks it down. It's going to miniaturize it, make it all small. And, uh, that's pretty cool. After this, we got to make some tunnels, I guess. And maybe the other room, too. We might as well make both of them. Get them both done. Actually, I'm not going to use this one first anyway. This is going to be the one I'm going to use for the mob farm. So, yeah. Anyway. Pretty cool, good animation, and uh, looks pretty awesome actually. Look at that. So this is the first one. Let's make the second one, I guess. Let's get, this one says the three by three. This one's gonna take a block of gold in the center. And you can see that all in the block. So you can see that one, nothing. This one needs iron in the center. This one needs gold and some of the bigger ones. I don't know if the bigger ones just need one single block of emerald. Or if it needs the entire center. I think it's just one in the very center. But uh, going to have to craft one at some point And see if that's how it works or not. Anyway. Let's do that. Bam. Here we go. That should be everything we need for that one. I should have grabbed another ender pearl. But I did not. There's our other ender pearl. Well, maybe not. There we go. And... Get that one crafted. The last thing we'll need to make is probably two uh, sets of these tunnels, and uh, we'll be good to go, which is pretty cool. I do like this though. This is pretty good, cool, pretty cool um, crafting. You know what I mean? I like that. That's pretty awesome for such a simple little mod. And then we'll go inside one of these puppies and get some stuff set up. Keep my thing. There we go. And I guess we just need. I guess we'll need two of those. I need our two hoppers and some breadstone, so let's do that. That's the center block, I guess. That, that. Add a bunch of redstone around it. Boom. And throw one at it. Maybe. I thought that was it. Okay, maybe it doesn't like you standing in the field when you start it. That would probably make sense, actually. There we go. That one didn't take as long. It doesn't seem it. There we go. And... Last one. Well, I'm gonna put the ring around. There we go. Pretty cool. I really like the way that works. What can I say? That is pretty awesome. Uh, next, we'll probably need that and that. Get that stuff up there. Get our last set of tunnels. I didn't know. I don't know if I explained what the tunnels for. The tunnels are used for setting up which sides can import and export items in and out of the cube. So. Uh, we'll need those when we get inside the rooms, but uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess we're going to break down our power setup here. Probably don't need this redstone on us. Let's actually clean up our inventory a bit before it gets out of hand like it normally does. That should be good there. Okay, let's actually break this down. I'm going to break down all the energy cubes except for one. Then we're going to move it into a room and uh, rock out with it. There we go. Bam. And bam, probably take the Magma Crucible. And I'm going to want that crate too. So let's grab you. Let's go to, uh, what is it? This keeper? Yeah, storage crate keeper. There we go. 
throw one of those in there. Then I can break that crate and not have to worry about it. There we go. Pretty cool. And I just need to pick a home for this one now. So we're going to use the normal. And baby... I just need to be able to pipe the power in. Actually, I'll just put it on top of one. Here we go. We'll do it like this. Then I can set the power to input to the bottom. Um, basically, all I need to do now to get inside this thing is grab our... I don't have it on me, but the uh, miniaturization thing? What is it called? No, it's called... I, I can't even remember. What is it called? Oh, it was the shrinking device, which I left in the system because we need this to teleport in and out of the block. So I'm just going to right-click that on the block, and boom. I'm inside of a little room. It's just a little room where we can build stuff and do things. Um, there's light in here, I guess, apparently, so that's cool. Let's go and set this setup again. And we could do it a little different, I guess. I guess. I put a T on the end of guess, but anyway. Let's do that. Magma Crucible. Oh, I did put an upgrade in this, too. I have the Prio Convective Loop, which actually greatly increases the uh, production of lava, but makes it go, it can only produce lava. So, that is a thing. Gonna need some fluid ducts. I may add more lava now too with the setup, but I'm gonna kind of do it sideways now. No point not to. Oh, uh, let's take our energy cells here. Because they can go here. Have to get them uh, their sides configured correctly, but we'll worry about that in a second. And the dominoes. Why, why, why are you going that way? I'd rather you didn't. Because now I'm gonna have to rewire. Oh, they just go in the right way. Okay, ignore me. We go and the last one will go here. It'll probably face straight up though. Yeah, we'll wait till we have the other cell. And I guess all I really need is a way to pipe power to that. I think I have more flux ducts. Let's see here. Don't I? No, I do not. They might be in my system. I'm gonna have to go grab more flux ducts because I do not have enough flux ducts. Go in here. Bam. Flux. 37. I think that'll be more than enough. And head back in here. And I just need to get power to this thing, right? So it doesn't really matter how I do that, I guess. How do I want to do that, actually? I might run it down. I guess it doesn't matter. Boom, boom. There we go. And the last cell is going to go there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll need to set that top, though, to output. There we go. Actually, let's fix this. Oh, that messed everything up. So I'll put the top. And it'll be outputting... Which side is that? This side? Yes, they should be all that side, right? There we go. And are they all inputting through the back? They are. Should be good to go, pretty much. That has power now. Uh, I guess I could throw the crate to the back of it. There we go. Oh, that's the front of the machine, though. I need that rotated. That'll probably work. Let's reconfigure this. Let's output through that side and input through that side. Make sure auto input's on. And it should be producing lava, right? You can see here it goes quite a bit faster now. Way faster with that upgrade. So it makes a giant difference. And those should already be producing power, which is awesome. And I guess... I just need a way to pipe the power out now, so let's do this. We're going to put it on the side. Doesn't really matter where. What actually makes sense? Anything? <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. Do, do, do. I just want to make sure it's on the output side, so I'll just put it here. And uh, I'm going to set this to down, hopefully. Nope, I'm going to have to do that again. There we go. So yeah, you can just place these on the walls, so I could just go like that, right? They're all over the place. And uh, put them where you want. It kind of cycles through until you get to the end, then it takes it off the wall. And uh, you can set it to, I think, any of the six sides, which is kind of cool. But I want this one to set the down. That way I can just sit the cube on top of the wire and know it's already in, always in the right spot. I'm going to set that up. And that should start pumping power out, actually. Should? Should be. Maybe we're going to have to test that, but we'll go outside. And uh, see if everything's set up, because that should be already set up. Let's see here. As long as everything's getting power, 
would be easiest way to tell would be to break this, right? Here we go. And check these. They're going down. Why are you going down? I don't think you should be going down. That means we're not getting power. Okay, I got it working. I honestly don't know what I did to get it working. I just broke all four of the flock stocked and replaced them, and all of a sudden it started working. So now, yeah, it's doing its thing. It's doing what it should do, and uh, that is cool. But uh, it is getting power now. Everything's powered up, and uh, this is basically a block. I should be able to. Let's test it. Let's see. So right now, the power should be going down. Fantastic. Not really, but fantastic. <laughs> and... Is that staying powered? It is still staying powered. That is all I'm really worried about. As long as it stays powered, right? Boom. As long as it's connected on that north side, it should work. Let's try here. Boom again. And it's going up. So it is doing its thing. It's working the way I want it to, at least now. So that is pretty cool. Um, the next one we're going to set up here is going to be the large compact. So it doesn't really matter where this goes. Actually, it kind of does. Uh... Let's put it there right now. Oh, I didn't show you this too. If you right click on these machines after you got things, after you've gone into it once, you can see inside them and kind of see what you have built in there. So if you're not sure what's inside one, you can just right click on it, check it out, and uh, before you actually go in. And uh, yeah, if you end up with a lot of these things. So the next one we're going to set up is going to be a mob farm. So let's get to that. Uh, mob farm is going to be, well, drop of evil. So we're going to grab one of them. There we go. Let's get rid of that. And get rid of you. We need some stone. Let's grab a couple stacks. Uh, we'll need some dirt. Let's do that. What else do we need here? Do, 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 probably some dark glass. Dark glass just for the front of it. Let's do... We'll need some sandy. I don't know how many we need. We'll make 20. Let's just uh, smelt that up real quick. And we're probably going to need some plated... Uh, Plated uh, item ducks as well. Because mm, I need to... With this setup, we're only going to have the ability to use two pipes because of light issues. And um, I'm going to have to use a single line to run both power and liquids or power and items. So I think I'm going to do items. So we're going to need some single them. So to do that, I forget what single them is. Let's go here. Go there. Let's go to blend. Single and blend. The blend is right there. So we need three polarized copper, some silver grit, and some stabilized redstone. That'll give us four. That should give us our blends. Bam. Oh. Guess I'm just going to throw you in there. This is tedious crafting right there. Stuff like that. Always with the bucket crafting. Anyway. There we go. And, uh, what else did I... I think I need Electrum, too, don't I? Let's go to, uh, Plated again. We go, Plated... Oh, I actually have some Electrum, don't I? I think so. So we just need Nuggets, right? That, that, and some Item Duct. I want the Item Duct. What is the Item Duct? Let's go here. Item Duct. Which does it need? Don't say hardened. What is the easiest uh, hardened? Probably for me right now. Copper? I could do hardened copper. Or I could do hardened glass. There we go. Oh yeah, that's what I did before. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll take you, finish off our dark glass. Dark glass. Boom, dark glass is, has the just doesn't let light through, but lets you still see. This is the whole point of dark glass. Nothing real special, but very useful with mob farms. There we go. And I guess that's done. We have six. Why do I feel like I should have more? <laughs> huh, okay. Let's go to item duct, I guess. Item duct. Bam. There. There we go. We got 24. Don't need that many anyway, but it's good to have. Oh, I have to smelt some of that up. Let's go to... 
I should use, uh, let's do it this way. Let's grab some sand. Because you can actually get a secondary that is actually useful. So I might as well do it in here. So that and that, right? And I think we have a chance of getting slag as well. We don't need it right now, but it's something we could use later on. Eh, doesn't seem very common if it is there. Not a big deal, though. Let's grab that. Let's head over here. And finally do this stuff. So let's do that much. And we need some Electrum Nuggets as well. Get you in there and you in there. Now finally, we should be able to make these. Let's throw those in there. And let's make a bunch. There we go. Six? Is that enough? Probably. Just let me count. Maybe not. Let's make another one of these. And another one of those. There we go. That should be enough. Okay. I think we got everything we need now. If not, it's not a big deal to come back out. Oops. Don't want to do that. Let's use our shrinking device. And back in. Uh, we got a bad in here. <laughs> I should mention too, if you do manage somehow to magically get out of one of these uh, compact machines and into the dimension world, um, you, 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 you need to go away. Um, you'll actually get tele teleported back to the overworld and uh, what is the other thing that happens there's more than one thing that happens uh, you also get wither and nausea so yeah not a place you really want to be anyway let's go here and deal with this light issue because that is going to be the first issue oh that's not going to work the back wall is going to bleed white as well light as well so mods ball just cover that up as well And we'll just do a 5x5 five five in here. Pretty cool. Oh, we're going to need a bunch of stone. I'm doing 5x5. Five five. Oh, I still got to make my machine. I'm being a little willy-nilly here. We have, uh, I want to make the uh, grinder from Industrial for going as our machine to actually deal with the mobs. So that's kind of the plan there. But it doesn't hurt to build this first, I guess. Just hope I have plastic. I can't remember if I had plastic made or not. I think I did before we moved. Because <laughs> I haven't actually made any sense. Uh, how tall am I going to need this? Not very tall. Probably five-ish? Not even five-ish. I just need it tall enough for Enderman, right? So that's tall enough for Enderman. So I can put a roof on this thing now. Mob Crusher. I want one of the Mob Crushers. What do we need here? Let's go here. Let's go to Crusher. Let's grab two gold gears, I guess. Handle that. Machine casing. And apparently I don't have any plastic. Oh, I did make some. Thank thankfully. Sweet. Okay. Guess we could just do this and smelt this down. Bam bam. Throw that through a redstone. Is I doing anything there? Just more single. Throw that in there. I don't need it right now. And what else do we need here? Um, plastic and a sword. There we go. Should be able to grab the plastic and be done with that. Pretty sweet. Probably going to need some fluid duct too. And I can't remember if I have any. Duct. Item. Hardened fluid. Fluid duct. There we go. And this is a normal fluid, so the regular ones will work. Boom. Head back into our little fancy little room. And uh, get this finished up here. We'll just need a placement block for this. So let's run it. Reach. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did it just say? Entry point sent? Oh, you can set the entry point. Wow, okay, because I thought that might be an issue with this. So that's actually cool. I'll set it right there. There we go. So whenever I enter this cube, uh, it's always going to spawn me right here, which is really cool. Awesome. Because uh, I was worried if I was going to end up spawning in the mob farm. <laughs> <laughs> Which would have been uh, not good. Anyway, that should handle that. Let's grab some dark glass. I guess, uh, what's the easiest way to do that? I just need one. Yo. I made too much glass, but that's not a big deal. There we go. So that should be uh, mob spawnable now. That's great. And uh, I just need a way to kind of work out piping here. So we only have two open sides. 
So that was kind of what I was talking about there. Uh, we take one of the tunnels though, and I think throw it right here. There we go. And then, actually, I don't want it right there. Let's grab this real quick. Let's throw it down here, maybe. Because we have to deal with three things. I need to get power into it. I need to get items out of it. And I need to get uh, liquids out of it. We're going to get uh, fluid essence from the experience that actually drops from the mob. So that fluid essence can be used, I think, for a chance and for running the actual mob spawner from Industrial for Going. And may have another use, too. I'm just not sure. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's deal with this. I guess we'll just put the item duck down here. And that should deal with power, too, hopefully. But uh, I'm going to have to make sure it's hooked up on the other side. And let's set this one to north, just so I know. And it looks like it's already getting power. Awesome. Uh, I'm also going to need a servo, now that I think of it. And some kind of tank. So let's go find stuff like that. Uh, there is one tank I would like to use, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think I have enough enderpearls. I have three. Do I need enderpearls for anything else right now? Just thinking. No. Okay, let's go to... Black hole? Yes, I want to make one of these black hole units, but I want to make the black uh, hole tank. There we go. This thing can hold, I think, around 2 billion millibuckets. I guess we'll see here in a second. There we go. What else do we need here? Oh, I'm going to need more plastic, though. So we're going to have to do some more wood, I guess, because I'm actually out of plastic, but I do need to deal with that. So I'll just do that right now and uh, take a look here. Boom, boom. Boom. What was the other thing I need? I need to deal with items. Okay, so this thing I had set the north, right? Okay, so I'm going to change this conduit right here with one of these uh, signalum plated. There we go. And that should be able to get power, right? I think. Is that going to get power or not? I thought it could connect to these. Transfers, items, and redstone flux. Well... I would like some redstone flux. Hmm. Whoops. That isn't working. Okay. Let's try it like right there. What happens? Oh, it's not on the right side, for one thing. I wonder if we're having the same issues before. And okay. Out of nowhere, after teleporting back and forth a few times, I think the power is working. I guess we'll see. I need to get the machine running. To actually know. Um, <laughs> so let's uh, get it up and running. We're going to do this. Going to grab a drop of evil. We're going to throw you right there. Get you there. And then I guess close you off. And we should start seeing mobs, right? Yes. Let's grab a servo. I may have to get a faster servo for this. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to use this one. And uh, kind of see how it goes here. Why aren't you pulling items? Okay, the mob farm's obviously working. Uh, I shouldn't have to configure any sides on this. It is making essence, although we don't have a way of dealing with that yet. I'm still waiting on that. Oh, I bet you I know the problem. I didn't even think of that. I have not chunk loaded this side. I am such a derp. Let's go here. Let's try that. All chunk loaded. And... I'm just curious. Oh, because I haven't given an inventory yet to put items in. I'm being double derpy. Let's see if anything comes through here. Or if I might have to go through one more time to kind of... Nope, there we go. There came an item. Keep through very slow, mind you, because these are very slow. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to upgrade that servo. So, servo, here. Can I just straight up do that one? Yes, single lip servo. Bam. That'll be much faster. How is our rubber coming along? I still need... I need 27 before we can actually do the tank. Uh, I need this. There we go. And I should be able to just break this really quick. Throw that on. And throw this on. And this should be quite a bit quicker. There we go. And look at that go. Pretty cool. And we already got one Ender Pearl. Awesome. That is actually fantastic. So this is going to work decently right now until <laughs> the Fluid Essence um, 
gets backed up. And then it's going to start dropping experience in the world, which we don't need or don't want. Uh, so we definitely need a tank. So I'm probably going to wait another, I guess there's going to be probably about another minute or two. Okay, just need to smelt up this rubber, and then we're good to go. Let's kick you. Oh, I should have this smelted up too, shouldn't I? Throw you in there. Oh yeah, I can't do that. We're going to induction smelt it. That's what we keep doing with that. And uh, there's our plastic. And let's grab one of these black hole tanks. Already. Uh, do I have everything? Yes, I did make those. What do I need on the bottom? Another machine case. And black hole tank. Boom. I don't know if this takes power. I'm kind of curious. It does not look like it. And it does. It takes 2 billion millibuckets. So I think that'll cover our needs. <laughs> and I could pump this out too, but I don't really see a point of it right now. I just want to make sure it doesn't get backed up right now. I don't have a use for the fluid yet. Uh, I will in the future. Uh, but right at this point, I do not need it. Let's grab... Oh, I th threw away... I put away my fluid ducts. We need to grab those really quick. There we go. And bam. Uh, fluid duct. Here we go. I guess I don't need hardens for this. I should need hardens for this. Unless this is uh, considered a cold or a hot liquid, it shouldn't be an issue. I uh, guess we'll do that. Yeah, probably just throw it right here. Maybe? Oh yes, we'll need a servo too. I always forget about servos for uh, fluid. It does not make sense to me. <laughs> not in my head. I just like fluid should go through things without needing servos. There we go. And we should be able to throw the server there. And bam. And that's getting essence. That'll drain that. That'll keep that nice and drained. And that effectively is a mob farm. I mean, if I wanted to, I could turn away, have a way to turn this off. Or I could just come here and hit pause. You know what I mean? <laughs> it really doesn't matter that much, I guess. Um, yeah. No real need to set up, you know, say an RF tools uh, transmitter receiver or anything for a setup like this. And uh, I can pipe this somewhere else if I need to later. I can just throw in another, another tunnel, set it out a different side, and then use the liquid somewhere else. Or use an ender chest. So that is pretty cool. That's actually awesome. Because we now have a mob farm in a block. <laughs> and we have... Uh, oh, why is that disconnected now? Oh, no. What side? Did I hit that by mistake? I did, too. You gotta be careful around these things. Put you back. Why don't you set the north? There we go. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> it's pretty cool because I could move this anywhere I want now. As long as it's got, you know, the right kind of conduit there. Or, uh, sorry, duct. Uh, one of the plated ones. We already got two enderpearls. Um, it's, it could be moved. It could be, it's portable. So, especially with me planning to build a base, this is going to make my power and my mob farm really small. Mob farms are one of those things too that always end up big and just in the way. You know what I mean? They're just there. They always make noise. I don't have to listen to the noise. Uh, and I don't think we need a particularly large mob farm in this pack. So I think it's going to work out pretty well. So that's actually really cool. My first time using this mod and uh, I love it already. This is going to be a great mod. I'm going to be using it a ton. <laughs> You know, okay, I think I'm going to ramp this one up here. Just going to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. You can stop on by, say hello. Uh, people are always in there. I got a real good community. So, yeah, just keep it classy. That's all I ask. And uh, I also have a Patreon page and a Patreon server, which is currently running this pack. If that's something you're interested in, you can just, you know, stop on by, check out the page. It will be down in the description. You can just uh, check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. I want you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later!